Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I have a new deck for you that we've been trying out over there on Twitch and we've called it Destroyer of Dreams. We're going to go over each card, tell you what it does, and then I'll show you a couple of games of gameplay with it and show you how it works. And, uh, and then you can try it out for yourself if you want, make some changes. Like I said, anytime you have any cards that you think might go into one of my decks a little better than the cards I have, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always open to some new ideas. So first off, we have Ant-Man. Uh, it's a very, very used card in the, in the whole format. Ongoing if you have three other cards here plus three power. So it's really, really powerful for a one cost card. Next up we have Daredevil. On turn five, you get to see your opponent's plays before you make your own. I've talked about this card before in a previous deck. Super powerful for the end game. It's one of the more powerful cards there is. Next up we got Armor. Ongoing cards at this location can't be destroyed. Uh, super good at keeping your uh, cards safe if you want or shutting down uh, destroy decks uh, like Carnage, Venom, and those kind of things. Uh, next up we have Colossus ongoing can't be destroyed moved or have its power reduced super good to drop It basically can't be touched. It just stays there The only thing that can happen is it can become larger if you uh, you know do things to add to the cards All right next up we have mr. Fantastic ongoing adjacent locations have plus two power So if you play him in the middle you get plus two on the left and right spot um, He can also when he's moved it, you know if he moved to the right spot then the left spot get uh, the middle spot gets it. If you move to the left spot, then the middle spot gets it. But pretty good two drop or three drop overall, uh, especially with what this deck's going to be doing. Uh, next up, we have Captain America. Ongoing, your other cards at this location have plus one power. Um, again, that uh, speaks for itself. It bumps up your other cards at the location. Super good three drop. Great looking uh, variant, by the way. Uh, next up we have Cosmo. We've talked about the dog before. Ongoing on reveal abilities won't happen at this location and like always you want to be careful how you play him but Cosmo has a different purpose with this deck. Cosmo helps shut down Destroyer which is our big end game play. On reveal destroy your other cards. So obviously you don't want your other cards destroyed. There's where armor comes into play. Armor can protect cards that you want to keep protected in one lane so destroyer won't destroy them so that's one way to protect your other cards another way is cosmo you play cosmo uh before you play destroyer and then destroyer's ability never happens so you never have to worry about anything being destroyed uh next up we have warpath we're basically going to be playing two lanes with this deck so warpath is really good for that ongoing if any of your locations are empty plus four power so we're really going to want to try to keep this to two lanes uh, but if that can't be, you know, can't happen, that's fine too. He's still a 4-5. Uh, Professor X, ongoing lockdown this location. Cards can't be added, removed. Basically, Professor X shuts down an entire lane. Nothing can happen there. He shuts down movement decks. He shuts down anything uh, that is in that is going to be in that lane. There's nothing else going to be added or taken away from that lane. So he's, he's one of the more powerful cards if you can get him into play in the right circumstance. Uh, Claw, another very good card, five drop, four power, ongoing. This location to the right has plus six power. So if you play him at the very left, the middle will have plus six. If you play him in the middle, the right will have plus six. It's very good um, in a control deck. Spectrum, on reveal, give your ongoing cards plus two power. Another really good card when we're using a bunch of ongoing cards in the deck, like Professor X, like Warpath, um, like Captain America, Mr. Fantastic, you know what I mean? Like uh, Colossus. This Spectrum bumps all this stuff. And on reveal, the big guy, like I said, destroy or destroy your other cards. This is the last play of the game. Hopefully you draw it. If you don't, there's still plenty of other utility here to help you win the game and to control your opponent's uh, control your opponent's plays. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a couple games of gameplay from stream, and uh, you can so you can see how the deck kind of works, and then you can you know feel free to use it, uh, call it whatever you want to, add cards, remove cards. Uh, but if you do that, please just let me know in the comment section below what you added, what you took out, and why, and then you know I'll play test it as well. All right, cards here have plus one power. We don't have a turn one play, so we have Cosmo, Mr. Fantastic, Professor X, and Warpath in our opening hand. They have Nova. It's a really cool variant, by the way. There is a turn seven this game, so I that could work to our advantage. It also could be very bad, so um, we still don't have a play on turn two. Hey. 
After turn four, destroy all cards controlled by the player losing here. So I kind of want to throw um, Cosmo out here in case they have uh, Carnage or Venom or anything like that. Although they do have priority, so their things will play first. So. Alright, we really want to get Daredevil on the field so we can see what they're doing next turn. Jubilee pulls armor. Not awful for us. Actually helps this deck a lot because it gives us another lane to potentially play uh, Destroyer in, so. Uh, they're going to lock down that lane with Professor X. So... Do we want to concede it? He'll have seven power there. I don't think there's any way... Best we can do is six there. Well, Mr. Fantastic actually helps us win that so if we play warpath and ant-man there actually if we play claw here gives us six then we can play mr. fantastic wins us that lane unless he gets a way to blow up Nova so let's go ahead and play claw Alright, we got Destroyer, so we can play him middle on turn 7. So we play Mr. Fantastic to win this lane, and then Destroyer to win the middle, I think. Goblin. Yeah, it's fine. And then we play Destroyer, and I think we win this game. Unless he has a way to get rid of Nova that I'm unaware of. Well, he could still use, um... What's-his-face? Uh, the 3-3 that destroys all ones. I have priority, though, so I wonder if I play... Professor X That means this card can't be destroyed, right? I don't know how that works Let's just find out Let's just find out Ah, oh, we should have played our destroyer Dang it, we won if we played Destroyer. I thought he was going to destroy Nova. All right, that's what not to do. We should have played Destroyer there, but... You can also learn things from losing games, so... There you go. All right, game two. Cards here with no abilities have plus three power. I think all our cards have abilities, so... Not really going to do much with that. After you turn cards here, gain plus one power. Uh, sure. Go ahead and set up our armor lane there. Alright, after turn four, swap the position of each location. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. When this moves to a location, plus two power for each card the opponent has there. Um, so he's got a movement deck, so we want to avoid this lane. Um, let's go ahead and play Cosmod here.
Like, part of me... Let's go ahead and play Mr. Fantastic and Ant-Man in the middle here. And try to get them built up as much as possible. So Daredevil doesn't do any good because it's already turn five. Um, part of me wants to play Professor X out here. And try to lock down that lane. Because I feel like they're going to play something here, but I don't... I hate the movement deck, so we'll just have to see. Yeah. Yeah, we're in trouble there. Alright, so even if we play Claw... Even if we play Claw middle now, that only gives us four... Well, that... Wait, that does give us 14. Right? Six and eight is 14, last time I went to school. Um, but they're gonna win middle, probably. But I think that's our only play. Because... We lose this lane otherwise. So I think that's our really our only play, so we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Wow, that's it. I've never seen them use Magneto there. And we lose because of the two power that got pulled from Mr. Fantastic. So that was the right play. It's just that that was not a card that I've literally ever seen a movement deck use. So, all right. So that's the Destroyer of Dreams deck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to try this deck out, feel free to do so. Again, if you use any, if you use it and you add or remove cards, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you what you think about this deck, what changes you think could be made from this deck. I am level 1,000 now, but there's still tons of cards I don't have uh, that might make this deck even better. Uh, so, and I might have the cards and I might just not have it in the deck. So please let me know in the comment section below. If you want more uh, content for Snap, I stream on Twitch Monday through Saturday. Twitch.tv backslash big old buck. All my uh, all my uh, online stuff is big old buck. Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram. Uh, I even have TikTok. I have some pretty good stuff over TikTok. I'll put all the links in the description below. So go make sure to follow me on all my social medias and come by Twitch and give me a follow. It's free. Until next time, you can catch me right here, same buck time, same buck channel.